Previously on Doom 2016. Hi, Limba. God damn it. Get too ripped out. Or stab you, fucking asshole. You too. Break your fucking teeth off. Stab me in the fucking eye with it. Oh shit! Damn. Fucking myself, I go in. Oh shit. Ow! Oh shit! He almost took his ass out. I mean, granted, I already did like a decent amount of damage to hurt him. Oh shit. I was about to say, if I didn't get back to where he kills... Okay, it wasn't so bad when I focused on the other one, so I can use him as farming for, for, uh, for health. I will take my Crucible now. Vega Central Processing. You reclaim the crucible and are returning to Mars. You must close the world, the power source of the hell portal on Mars. To do this, you will have... Uh, Uncle X-Files. Damn, Uncle, damn, Uncle X-Files, you're really trying hard to, on that giveaway, aren't you? Damn, all right, so... Oh, apparently Scott's in the chat, too. So, five tier one sub gift subs. So, damn, so Krishna, Bucket... Scott, that loser, Viggs, and Lady Worm. Welcome and enjoy the, um, what you would call, um, ad-free viewing for your pleasure if you are, happen to be in and joining. Damn. Alrighty. Anyways, where I was going before I was interrupted, I wanted to make sure those shoutouts went out. I, I always try and, if when I can, try and show appreciation to the community, especially those who that sub and give sub and all the other kind of stuff, because that's the right thing to do. Anyways, you reclaim the crucible and I'll return to Mars. You must close the well, the power source of the hell portal on Mars. To do this, you will have to make up one last hell jump. Samuel has a plan to send you back to the well's location. He will need your assistance to carry it out. Hey, what's up there, Jeremy? So, I heard uh, you got sick today, or tested positive today, unlike yesterday. <laughs> not sure if you heard hold on not sure if you heard uh, our my conversation earlier but the crucible, and with it the means to contain the power of the well we have a plan to send you there Vega will walk you through the process anyways where I was going with that Jeremy is that I didn't want I don't not sure if this is a banned word on twitch but let's just say that all of us caught the male virus, since it seems like all the dudes are the ones who got sick with this corona shit. Well, except for Brian, but then again, I'm not sure if we can really consider Brian a real man or not. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Um, Let's see, what are the challenges? Variety in the Spice of Death 3. Perform five different glory kills on imps. Gore Pinata. Kill three demons with one frag grenade. Uh, three D. That should be an easy one. That could I could just group cluster a bunch of zombies together. My teeth are sharper. Kill a cackle demon with the chainsaw. That's an easy one. Uh, so we have 17 weapon points. Let's see what we can upgrade. Oops. So that's just a mastery. Uh. Oh, so we gotta purchase that. Master Challenge, get 50 headshots while using the tactical scope. That should be an easy one on zombies. Um, oh, we didn't even do anything for heat blast. So let's superheat around. Shots from the plasma rifle now build heat much faster. Uh, improve venting. Significantly reduces the weapon's recovery from a heat blast. Expanded threshold. Increases the amount of heat that can be contained, resulting in more potential damage. Okay, I guess we'll just max that out. And... Let me see. That's all acquired. That's all acquired. That's all acquired. I'm not really concerned about the pistola. 
speedy recovery rapid fire increase the fire rate of the burst quick reload i guess we'll go with quick quick reload and we got three praetor suit tokens so that's maxed that's maxed that's maxed so power up effectiveness power extender increases the length of time that power will remain active yes that's a good one to have all right so now four uh, four out of the five so i just need three more praetor suit tokens to max out this and that should be it for that and let's clear that stuff out really quick because we already read this stuff anyways oh we didn't read anything about the specter so let's go ahead and read that really quick specter the specter is the unfortunate result of a misguided attempt to genetically modify the pink ape Several pinkies were gathered during the first Lazarus project, terminating Operation MTC-2146-351. Four of the captured beasts were vi vivisected, while three of these experiments resulted in the death of the subject, one resulted in a pinky with limited psionic abilities. In an attempt to increase its ocular capacity, the optic nerve of a cackle demon was transplanted into the pinky. After the operation, the animal was returned to its enclosure to recover. Is it really an animal though? It is believed that the beast was accidentally released from its pen when its keeper, thinking the invisible specter, had escaped. Opened the gate. Several months after the first specter went missing, the second tethering operation, MTC 2147-016, captured the two fertile specimens, presumably the original specter, wandering into the Lazarus Wave testing facility and was te teleported back to hell by a summoner. It is unknown how the specter managed to breed, but the psionic trait has carried to the offspring. Besides psionic invisibility, there are no known differences between the pinky specter. And what other monsters are there? I mean, I don't know why they're still showing highlighted, and we already read all that, so we can get out of here now. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, very sensitive. Sensitive to the point where it's kind of sad sometimes. All right, here's a codex coming up. Get that armor. Oh, look, more literature. Vega, Dakota N33. Vega is powered by a mix of unrefined Argent Plasma taken directly from the Argent Fracture. The UAC technology, while details regarding the development of Vega are a closely guarded secret. It is rumored that Vega's core is powered by a piece of arcane technology found near the Argent Fracture. The behavioral and calculating power of Vega is unprecedented in AI theory, and the system is, to some extent, self-taught. After the initial core software was updated, Vega began gathering data from all the UAC subsystems without oversight, and effectively took control of the Mars facility operations. Vega also proposed a more effective method by processing Argent Plasma into Argent Energy, devised better analysis, theorems, and even designed new Argent Compression, schema allowing for the development of Argent Catches and later the Argent Accumulator. Okay, oh, you know, look, what do I have for my runes? Uh, let's see, Vacuum, In-Flight Mobility, Armored Defense. Okay, so... Increases the range to absorb... Um, let me see. This one is saving throw. Rich get richer. Uh, I guess I missed that one. Oh, yeah. So that's what I missed in Kangdahar Sanctum. Um, armor defense, blood fueled, intimacy. Feels more friendly to high damage. This one stagger. Demon stagger off of less damage. Dazed and confused. Demon stagger lasts even longer. Yeah, let's uh, use that instead. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead. This hey. is my primary operating facility. It is where I was created and where my core processing unit is maintained. It takes approximately 2.4 terawatts of power to sustain my operational capabilities, but it has been decided that we can use that power to send you to the source of the portal. I will not survive the procedure and am unable to self-terminate, so I will walk you through the process. All interior and exterior facility doors have been secured. You will need to begin by finding a way in and disabling the security systems. Uh, anyways, just to let you know there, Mr. Ito, as much as I appreciate it, um, as long as you know, you don't, as long as you accept the fact that you don't think you have a gambling problem, I greatly appreciate it. I don't want you to be like me, where like uh, one time I bought hella squares on Patrick's pool, and not one fucking square landed, and I was so fucking pissed off. So, 
you know, I don't want you to be that guy where, you know, you put in all this trying to get into the entry and then next thing you know, my fucking co-worker wins. Because <laughs> I think it's only you and my co-worker that are participating so far. And I think, it would, and it, not, not that it would be hilarious, but it would be pretty fucked up, like, if he ended up winning all three between the two of you. Because I know, so far, I think you've uh, put in the most so far towards the giveaway. God damn it! Oh, damn. Uncle X-Files. I greatly appreciate it. You sure you don't have a gambling problem, bro? <laughs> I mean, we all have our problems, as long as we admit to them. All right, there's another freighter suit token. Okay, so those we went out. All right, so those... Wow, more gifts us. Thank you there, Mr. Ito. So those all went out to Moe's... Uh, H.I. Charlie Chainsaw. Not sure if Charlie's in the chat or if you just picked random names. Fruity Name Guy, Santi C80, and Bosco Money. <laughs> the Edo curse. You have to follow that. The... So, anyways, Jeremy, what the. Gee, okay. I, that's the only thing I hate is how the notifications double repeat. Uh, anyways, so what the giveaway entails there, uh, Jeremy, is that I'm giving away three things. One of them is a bundle. The first one is my old x real Air glasses before I bought the Air 2 Pros. Uh, so it's the x real Air glasses with the um, x real Beam. That's one bundle that's in, that's uh, being given away. Uh, the second one is not sure how familiar you are with the um, portable handheld PCs that have been coming out lately, but... I have a 1X Player 1S that I'm going to be giving away as well since I have a Steam Deck and I'm not giving up my Steam Deck and I also bought a Lenovo Legion Go which is replacing my 1X Player and the I, I would say the Lenovo Legion Go is better than the Steam Deck but it's not going to make me want to get rid of my Steam Deck so I'm just getting that out of the way right now so I have no intentions on giving away my Steam Deck so that's the second item my 1X Player and then my third giveaway which is all happening at the same time. I'm just going from lowest lowest item to highest item. So the grand prize, as you could say, is my old computer that looks like a beefed up gaming console with a uh, 2080 Ti graphics card in it. NVIDIA 2080 Ti graphics card, that is. All right, so there's a toy above us. Is it... Okay, so there's a... Hmm. Is there a way we're supposed to get up there? Hmm. Well, it was highlighted blue. Oh, wait, hold on. Yep, found it right here. I actually, uh, I actually love the glasses. I mean, I haven't used. I actually, I take it back. I used them today to do a couple of recordings for my um, Aliens Colonial Marines um, YouTube TV series. Only because one, it was hot as hell today. It's still hot, so I got the AC running. So I wanted less heat generation in my room instead of having my gaming rig and my God damn it, my gaming rig and the. Um, and my TV, my OLED TV on at the same time because my OLED TV generates a lot of heat too. Not as much heat as my gaming rig, but the less heat the better. But since it's also nighttime now, it's uh, not as bad. Like I said, I still have the AC running, but probably like after 10-ish or something, maybe I'll cut off the AC and just strictly use my um, fans to circulate outside air in here. Cool things off. Okay, where? I'm hearing shit, but I'm not seeing anything. Is there an imp still alive? Oh, there you are. Oh, you... oh shit, it bounced off. That's two of five. That's three of five. So that challenge. Is there any more of you, or is that it? Okay, the music calmed down, so there's really much. Uh. Oh yeah. What kind of um? What kind of a uh, handheld uh game do you? Uh, I mean, I'm. Um, don't 
don't say a switch because uh, i mean i'm talking about computers here like what do what kind of um gaming handheld pc do you have there uh jeremy my security systems operate on two separate networks that terminate in this maintenance facility each termination point is protected by an electrified field but you should survive the surge All right, no problem. Do your thing. Impact compensation. All right, so there's a berserk thing right there, which means I'll save that for when we get to, like, the super heavy demons. Oh, there's two power-ups. There's an invulnerability and a berserk. All right, so is there a gore nest here that I need to open? Let's see if there's anything around here. There's armor. That's about it. Let me see. There has to be a Gorness or something. Because why else would? Unless they want me to activate something first. Oh. Grab that. Oop. Wrong button. Security network. Yep, the demons are coming. That's the one thing I hate about the gauze cannon sometimes. All right, get your power pack blown out, yach. Oh shit. Running low on health. Need to run for a little bit. Oh, this is when the meat hook would come in handy. But of course, this is June 2016 and not eternal, so there is no meat hook. Four or five. Oh shit, what the hell hit me with that? Alright, I think... Nope. I'm low on health. I want to get some health first before I grab that Berserk pack. Okay. Blew your ugly face off. Get punched, fat boy. Alright, who else is next? Come on, I'm not trying to waste the Berserk. Who else is left? That's what I hate when you can't find these fuckers in a timely manner. Okay. So there must be... There's gotta be another wave or something if there's two power-ups. Alright, where am I going? <clears throat> oh, is it up here now? Where the second wave is going to begin? Which I probably should wait for that. Primary neural security network offline. Round two. Or oh, never mind. I guess it'll start after we do this. Um okay, let me see. I think Anyway, it's not one like the Steam Deck. I end up getting the Backbone one. There's Ill limitations compared to the Steam Deck, but honestly, for my use, I don't need more. You better check by yourself into a hotel before you get that. Nah, should be fine, Edo. What is the Backbone used for? Steam. So, is that what the console is called? Is it just called the Backbone? Huh. Alright. My vital operating systems are now vulnerable. I recommend destroying my coolant system first. This will accelerate the destabilization process. Alright, let's meet this challenge really quick. Let's get out of the way. Oh, shit! Light him up! Got his ass. Alright, who else left?
Come on. Well, I guess this invulnerability went to waste. Unless there's another one. Is there anything in here? Collectible wise? No, it doesn't seem like it. That help? Yes, it is. Get some ammo and armor while we're at it. Na, 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 na. Okay. Yeah, but uh, the uh, the glasses that I love them, especially like when I'm using like my Switch or my Steam Deck or my Lenovo Legion Go. It's better than just staring at the uh, staring down below at the screen. Just look straight ahead and enjoy. Got with the challenge. Oh, the hell! Oh shit! What the hell? Oh, motherfucker! Oh, someone got impaled to the wall. There's a praetor. Oh no, that's uh, further up. Get your back blown out. Oh shit! Come on, fat boy! Donut loving fuck. Okay. There we go. Revenant, Dakota Entry 303. During initial development of the Revenant program, a curious side effect of Lazarus Wave exposure was discovered. The argent energy held within the plasmatic isotopes of the Lazarus Wave mutates a scene. Ossian proteins resulting in rapid skeleton growth. The expansion of the bone matter results in the avulsion of the skin and connective tissue. The flesh is literally torn from the bones as the skeleton continues to grow. The exposed internal organs begin to decompose. <coughs> After several weeks of the intense pain of the patient, the skeletal growth stops, resulting in a three on a three meter black beast comprised primarily of bone. The height varies depending on the patient's original phys physiology. Despite this bizarre biological structure, the revenant appears to bear no ill effects. Alright. Uh, so there's going to be a Praetor Suit token in the next area when we drop below. Oh, there it is in the room below. Oh, here we go. This is where we probably get it. Maybe. There's the room. Yeah, you weren't expecting me to double throw, huh, bitch? Oh, Goddamn, wrong button. Oh. So I gotta come back with the blue key card. Vega Central Processing, Dakota Entry 1 of 2. The internal operating temperatures of Vega's plasma-based neural net are high, extremely high. Early tests of Vega's protoplasmic circuitry show temperatures exceeding 1.2 megakelvins hotter than surface of the sun. To contain this level of heat, a massive supercooled structure needed to be built to house Vega's miles of circuitry and millions of processing centers. The structure was built away from the Argent's facility to ensure Vega's secrets remain safe from prying eyes. Access to the Vega Polar Core is strictly controlled. Vega's design is so complex that the study of its inner workings has been given its own field of study, Vega Core Physics. All right, back to the map, let's see. So we need a blue key card to get the Praetor suit token. So we'll have to come back for that. Which we're gonna need the blue key card probably to progress further anyways. So let's go ahead and go back. I think it's this way. A tier three. Oh, this is probably where we get the blue card and shit's gonna go down. All right, next combat arena. S 
scrounge around really quick before we uh, engage in this fight. <clears throat> Might as well, Crystal. At least then you'll save money by making payments instead of just, you know, paying 60 bucks up front. Silent Hill, as much as I'm looking forward to play it, unlike the Dead Space remake, I might probably wait for that one to go on sale with Steam. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to play it, Brian's going to probably stream it, Patrick probably might stream it, so instead of having like three to four different people streaming the same thing, I'll just wait it out. Okay. Is it up here? Unless I missed something. Did I miss something? Because I think... I say my objective is this way, unless there's a door. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Not sure how that did not kill him when it was right behind him. No, it's a remake of Silent Hill 2 there, uh, Jeremy, not the original. I'm actually surprised that um, Patrick's interested in wanting to play because I thought he said that he thought the second Silent Hill was boring. Early tests of Vegas protoplasmic circuitry showed temperatures exceeding 1.2 megakelvins, 173 times higher than the, hell the that surface sound of the is. sun. To contain this heat, a massive supercooled structure was built to house You are looking at the only absolute zero cooling system ever constructed. It took years to perfect. Destroy each of the four coolant generators. Once they are no longer functional, my primary system should begin to melt down. Okay, so I'm assuming waves of demons will start to start to come once we break down these uh, cooling systems. Why am I getting stuck? Jesus Christ. Sometimes the way these games are designed sometimes makes no fucking sense how you just randomly get stuck for no apparent fucking reason. <sighs> and then I'm then it gets me to the point where I'm starting to sound like my brother-in-law where I'm bitching about everything and life and all that other kind of stuff. Alright, here we go again. Okay. They came out really quick. Okay. Now, not sure if. Okay, so we destroyed. All four. Now, let's see if I can find that berserk hack. Okay, so who else is left? Let's see if we can find that berserk hack while we're at it. Or a power up, I should say, not a pack. Who's left? There has to be someone left over. Come on. One time you fuckers want to hide. Yep. Who is hiding? And of course, it's a slow fuck who could barely move. And just like that, it was just that simple. But of course, me being me was trying to do it the traditional way, ended up just getting their ass handed to them. And when I could have just done that the entire time. Okay, I hear the BFG ammo. Where the fuck is it? I know there's plenty of BFG ammo in this area, so let me go ahead and recover all that so I can replenish all my 
BFG ammo. And I thought I had a rune, unless that's probably the rune that I missed in, um, the rune that I missed in, um, Kang Dahar Sanctum, that I thought there was a rune where you can get, there's a chance of getting BFG ammo from glory kills. Okay, actually there was a codex, here it is. The Coda Entry 3 for Cyber Macubus. The Cybernetic Macubus differs from its naturally occurring brethren in several ways. The chitinous growth on each arm with ha has been replaced with a UAC developed riffling barrel, which allows the Macubus to fire its bile at a much greater distance. The resulting ejection, however, does not ignite. The bile is still highly toxic and will qu quickly poison any organic creature it hits. The behavior has also been modified to make them favor a longer engagement distance to complement their long range bio-stepping weapon. While attempts have been made to provide better fighting armor to these cybernetic monsters, they invariably outgrow their uniform within a few weeks. Alright, let's, uh... Anything else here? There's a health station. And yeah, there's still two Praetor Suit tokens I haven't found. Buy that. Okay. Ugh. And... I thought there was another reason why I wanted to check my map or ch look for something. And okay, let's get the hell out of here now. But I don't get too angry. So what do they want me to do now? Or do I get out of here now? Nope. That door's locked. Yeah, that door's locked, so there has to be something else that opened then. Oh wait, hold on. Wasn't there like a power switch or, or a lever somewhere here? I think. Okay, I don't think there's anything down here. <clears throat> Where, oh, where do we need to go? Uh, where am I supposed to freaking go? Hold on. Looks like there's a path over here, I'm guessing. Ah, okay, hold on. There we go. The train below will take you to the entrance. Okay. I guess we just jump down and say fuck it. Why is there ice? to my core, the demonic threat must be removed from the room ahead. Two barons of hell. Just cause. That made no sense. That made zero sense. And I really hate it when I hear lost souls and can't even fucking see them. You ain't fucking Spider-Man, get your ass down from there. Damn, I'll say get staggered already or die or do something. Alright. Uh, kinda hard to talk in this game and kick ass at the same time. I hear a pinky, but where are you? I got his back blown out, or torn apart, I should say. Oh, shit. Okay. Round two of this. Oh, shit. Alright. 
I don't want to waste it, but I'm going to have to. I'm not sure if that got the summoner. I'm hoping it, it at least did. Nope, it did not, unless that's a new one. Where are you at, bitch? I saw you zip on by. Where are you? There you are. Don't need to bring in any fucking more demons into the party. Hopefully, Kinky is the last one. Who's that? Cybermaculi? Or is it just the imp? Oh, it's a uh, loathsome zombie. Chain stun. Oh, that's what they need. Where you at? Oh, fucking empty. Not sure how that was considered a stun, but I will take it. Okay, this area is secured now. All right, let's go ahead and gather what we can. I don't want to go down there because that spells instant death, probably. And I hear BFG ammo somewhere, but let me see. Is there any pickups or anything? There's a Praetor suit token. All right, so that's one BFG ammo. Gather this armor. Gather this health. Alright, so we're good on health. Let's just pick everything else up. Okay. I'm assuming that's just the ruckusing of his dead body. Alright, so the Freighter Suit token should be up somewhere around here. <coughs> Okay, so it should be above us then. We're good on health. Okay, before we enter the tram, how do I... Oh, wait, hold on. Is it one of those things where... So we got a checkpoint, so if I fuck up and die, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? So let's go ahead and do this then. I am losing energy capabilities. Control of normal action bar. Once Vegas core is destroyed, the vacuum of the I lost out on that Praetor Suit token by jumping on this. That sucks. Cause that was, no, there was two more. But still, that sucks. <clears throat> Unless there's a way to make this thing go back down, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, I guess there's no way to make it go back down. That kind of sucks. Because this is the end of the level, actually. <coughs> Vegas Core. That thing's fucking massive. 
See if there's anything around here really quick. Well, goodbye, Vega. It's been nice knowing you. You're a big help. <laughs> Next time on Doom 2016. Who else wants some? And I. There you go, fucking whore. You did. Get your skull ripped open. Fat boy. Let's see what. See if there's any fucking candy in you, you fat fuck. Not trying to accidentally get shot by my own fucking rocket. Not sure if that made the cut or not. Probably not. How did that not... Really? How did that not pick up that Cyberman Cubist that was down below? That was some bullshit. They promised me so much. All right, now let's see how many times this boss fight takes me since I'm playing on Nightmare difficulty. And we welcome back an ancient old enemy. The Cyber Demon. I mean, excuse me, the Spider Mastermind. <laughs> 